welcome to today's session today we are going to see what are, what is listening skill what is a listening skill listening skill is one of the pillars of english communication skills and it should uh, be given equal importance like speaking reading and writing most successful people they are very obvious of the time spent in purposeful listening it is because they know the value of listening skills listening is quite similar to reading as it involves reception of the message and decoding the message that is understanding and conveying the message from the speaker so several studies have indicated that uh, business people uh, most of the successful business people spent 45% of their time in listening so according to uh, the management guru tom peters listening skill is the essential management and leadership skill so it is very important every for everybody to improve their listening skills so similarly effective listening skill is extremely important for the students because they spent most of the time listening lectures not only lectures uh, they try uh, students as they are growing they are uh, they have to nurture their knowledge so how can they nurture their knowledge by reading or by listening so most of the times they tend to listen to others so it is important for them to nurture their listening skills sharp learners can be poor listeners it doesn't mean that only sharp learners can be good listeners no people with imperfect hearing can be still excellent listeners and so what is this listening skill this listening skill involves it's a process of receiving the message understanding and interpreting the message correctly and reacting to the message in the right way so while we may not necessarily be a born good listener listening effective active listening can be improved the importance of listening and empathy in communication people believe that good listener a good speaker is a good communicator no it is wrong we must gauge a person's listening skill to understand his or her degree of communication skills so listening skill is very important it is because the better you listen the better you communicate the better you listen the better you understand the need of the speaker the need of your audience then only your communication will be effective so that is why listening skill is very important there is a correlation between this speaking and listening because in listening empathy plays a very important role if anyone says that i don't get you could you please pardon me it is very rude because you are not listening to the speaker and you are very irresponsible so it is a poor habit what are what are the reasons for this poor listening uh, the re reason for poor listening is uh, we don't give importance to listening skill and as a result we don't have enough training Uh, or training platform for listening skill we have lot of language labs which uh, give importance to spoken english or written english but we don't give importance to this listening uh, institutions with, which give importance to this listening are very handful so we give importance to this listening skill and the speed of thought is more uh, uh, the speed of thought is more than the speed of speech take for example if you can understand 400 words per minute you can speak only 200 words in a minute so it obviously clash and next one is inefficient listening what is this inefficient listening human beings tend to understand and retain only one fourth of the message what is shared with the person so it shows how poor we are in listening skills so there is a misconception that effective listening is instinctive it is inborn but that is not true effective listening skill demands great energy and discipline so it is a mental sophisticated mental process it sh we should spend our energy time and we should be very disciplined and patient enough to understand the message completely talking is mistakenly viewed as the most important skill rather than listening but it is not true we consider that listening skill as a supportive tool no that's not true what are the poor listening habits that force us to poor listening skills that results in poor listening skills there are some ingrained habits what are they the listening skill we are we tend to listen only to selective topics and sometimes we label a certain subject matter as uninteresting and bored and we try to rehearse for take for example 
when the speaker is speaking we are rehearsing within ourselves uh, to to take our turn what are the things supposed to be discussed when it our in our turn comes so that that are the mistakes done by the listener interrupting when you are not patient enough to listen to the speaker then you interrupt and you break the communication and hearing what is just expected when the speaker doesn't speak up to your expectation or what is the message that you wanted to listen then you tend to lose your concentration you don't focus and this is listening for a point of disagreement when you have a personal bridge with the speaker you don't you don't agree with the speaker whatever he talks even though he has a valuable point to share with you you don't open your ears you just want a moment to catch and uh, confront him that results in poor listening habit and next one is criticizing the deliberate delivery or appearance of the speaker rather than listening to the message you are giving importance to the uh, language or the phonetic style or the delivery the way he delivers the message or the way he appears so that is unnecessary just concentrate the message that is given next one is becoming too stimulated take for example you are in an argumented uh, situation context at that time you are over stimulated with your anger you are giving importance to your emotions rather than to listening you tend to miss out maybe sometimes because of this over stimulation we tend to understand the important message which is shared that results to poor listening habits next one is listening only for the facts certain people they listen only for the facts they don't uh, give freedom to the speaker to his imagination and to his perceptions at that time they are very judgmental and that listens that leads to poor listening skill and what how this listening skill poor listening skill can be corrected although acquiring the skill of active listening needs much effort it is not achievable it is achievable for instance with great patience even though the speaker is irrational and illogical you can achieve good listening skills take the good uh, the habits which will help us to enhance our listening skills or inviting for the contributions from the speaker take for example if you have a doubt if you have a question you can post it at that time when the speaker answers you you tend to listen because your question is being answered you are uh, given importance so next one is responding non verbally when you nod your head when you just blink your head when your eyes are focused then the speaker tend to understand that you are giving importance and you are listening so in that way you can contribute uh, to the you can support the speaker being non evaluative so you should not judge a speaker with his appearance with the qualities or with the gestures so you should give importance to the message conveyed and the next one is paraphrasing so by paraphrasing what is this paraphrasing to clarify a point one can simply paraphrase paraphrase what the speaker has said and inquire the speaker whether one has heard it accurately take for example if i am bright you said you meant to say so by using these phrases you can just summarize what the speaker has said so and check whether you have comprehended the message correctly and the next one is reflecting implication re reflecting on implications to reflect on the conclusions of what the speaker has said it is necessary to go a bit beyond the directions uh, direct contents of the speaker take for example so you can so after summarizing so you can say you mean to say so and so as a result you want to say so and so so this will help you uh, to improve your listening skills what are the different types of listening skills Uh, one is the first one is appreciative is listening you you listen to appreciate next one is empathetic you give importance to the emotions of the speaker and you listen him next one is comprehensive listening that is taking place in the classroom critical listening that is taking place when somebody is trying to persuade you and the last one is superficial listening this is fake listening so these are the five different types of listening and if you have any doubt regarding listening skills could you, you you can come back to me and i'm always ready to help you so thank you so much and uh, we will discuss about the other thing in the 